Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is September 15th, 2023. And before we jump to things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with Sensei's Divining Top, and this is the borderless copy from Double Masters 2022, down 5.31% from $24.11 to $22.83 for its market price, and its average price is $26.76. Grief from Modern Horizons 2, this mythic is down 5.35% from $30.83 to $29.18 for its market price, and its average price is $34.09. Elish Norn, Mother of Machines from Phyrexia All Will Be One, this card is down 5.44% from $20.77 to $19.64 for its market price, and its average price is $22.79. Acroma's Memorial here from Time Spiral Remastered. This card is down 5.60% from $23.77 to $22.44 for its market price, and its average price is $22.32. Nissa Resurgent Animus, and this is the retro frame version of the card from Martian Machine The Aftermath. It's down 5.85% from $34.73 to $32.72 for its market price, and its average price is $34.73. Elvish Mystic from the Secret Layer series, this card is down 6.34% from $19.72 to $18.47 for its market price, and its average price is $18.85. Cityscape Leveler here from the Brothers War, this card is down 6.36% from $23.13 to $21.16 for its market price, and its average price is $24. Waste Not from Magic 2015, this card is down 7.94% from $12.72 to $11.71 for its market price, and its average price is $11.94. Shatter Gang Brothers here from the Secret Layer series, down 16.60% from $10 to $8.34 for its market price, and its average price is $6.50. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off with... Orcish Bowmasters here from Lord of the Rings. This card is up again 7.22% from $41.83 to $44.85 for its market price, and its average price is $47. And the pre release copy is currently sitting at $55.95 for its average price, and the borderless copy is sitting at $45.84 for its market price, and its average price is $49.56. And this card is being played a ton in the modern and legacy formats. In modern decks like Rakdos, Midrange, Yogmoth, Jun Saga, Death Shadow, as well as the Mere Control and Mono Black Coffers, and even in the Legacy format in decks like Grixis Tempo and Death Shadow. And the next winner on our list today is Urza Saga from Modern Horizons 2. This card is up 8.88% from $32.45 to $35.33 for its market price, and its average price is $35.98. And the pre release copy is currently sitting at $68.97 for its average price, and the showcase copy is sitting at $35.14 for its market price, and its average price is $35.87. And the version on the list is sitting at $36.31 for its market price, and its average price is $37.29. And this card is being played as well in the modern and legacy formats as well as the vintage format in decks like Hammer Time, Amulet Titan, and Mono Green Tron in the modern format, in vintage decks like Blue Tinker, and in legacy decks like Lands and Painter. Next up here is Moonshaker Cavalry, a mythic from Wilds Veldrain. This card is up 10.07% from $18.28 to $20.12 for its market price, and its average price is $20.48. 
and the pre-release copy is sitting at $28.89 for its average price, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $20.49 for its market price, and its average price is $23.51, and the extended art version of this card in the collector packs is sitting at $23.76 for its market price, and its average price is $24.76, and this card is being played right now in the Pioneer format and Simic Stompy decks, as well as the Commander format, and new commanders like Bernard Ginger Sculptor, Siddhar Jabari of Zalfer, Will Scion of Peace, and Preston the Vanisher. And the next winner on our list is Agatha's Soul Cauldron, and this is the extended art version of this card from Wilds Veldre, and it's up 10.87% from $45.26 to $50.18 for its market price, and its average price is $70. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $66.29 for its average price, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $45 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $41 for its market price, and its average price is $43.68. This card is being played right now in the modern format in Yawgmoth decks as well as Hardened Scales. It's even being played in the commander format in decks like Agatha of the Vile Cauldron and Sir Ginger the Meal Ender. Next up here is Arwen Weaver of Hope from Commander the Lord of the Rings. This card is at 14.89% from $7.12 to $8.18 for its market price and its average price is $6.36. And the extended art version of this card in the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $7.77 for its market price and its average price is $6.23. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from Lord of the Rings Elven Council. However, it's also being played in other Commander decks like Lathril Blade of the Elves. Next up here is Fairy Mastermind from March the Machine. This card is up 16.14% from $8.55 to $9.93 for its market price, and its average price is $9.14. And the pre release copy is sitting at $11.21 for its average price, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $6.61 for its market price, and its average price is $8.97. The extended art version of this card in the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $6.85 for its market price, and its average price is $8.58. This card is being played a ton in the standard format in decks like Demir Fairies, Esper Midrange, and Demir Midrange, as well as Rogues decks in the Pioneer format. The next winner here is Feasting Hobbit from Commander the Lord of the Rings. This card is up 18.50% from $5.46 to $6.47 for its market price, and its average price is $6.60. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $4.39 for its market price, and its average price is $4.97. And this card is being played a lot in some new commanders, like Bernard Ginger Sculptor, the Goose Mother, and also Greta Sweet Tooth Scourge. Nesting Dovehawk from Commander March the Machine. This card is up 28.48% from $6.11 to $7.85 for its market price, and its average price is $15.92. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $5.41 for its market price, and its average price is $5.23. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from March the Machine, Divine Convocation. This card is also being played in other Commander decks like Bernard Ginger Sculptor and also Anikthea Hand of Erebos. And our final winner of the day is an uncommon card from Wilds Veldrain, Up the Beanstalk. It's up 137.19% from $1.21 to $2.87 for its market price, and its average price is $3.12. And this card is being played a ton right now in the modern format in 4 to 5 color Omnath decks, as well as Pioneer decks like 4 color Control, 5 color Fire's Invention, and even standard decks like Cascade and Bant Ramp. This card is being played everywhere at the moment. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Jedit Ojanin of Afrava from Planner Chaos. This card is up 8.89% from $16.98 to $18.49 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.83. Smothering Tithe, and this is the anime borderless copy from Wilds Veldrain. This card is up 9.36% from $127.79 to $139.20 for its foil market price, and its average price is $175. Next up here is Rata, Eretic Held from Planner Chaos. This foil is up 10.10% from $15.34 to $16.89 for its market price, and its average price is $13.39. Izami, Lady of Scrolls from Champions of Kamigawa. This foil is up 10.62% from $51.33 to $56.78 for its foil market price, and its average price is $63. The One Ring, and this is the borderless foil from The Lord of the Rings. It's up 15% today from $35.11 to $40.38 for its foil market price, and its average price is $41.93. 
Virtue of Persistence, and this is the Showcase Foil from Wildsville. Draining this card is up 18% from $8.55 to $10.09 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13. Knowledge Exploitation from Morning Tide. This foils up 23.73% from $25.62 to $31.70 for its foil market price, and its average price is $25.94. Aetherize from Gate Crash. This foils up 36.12% from $5.15 to $7 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.12. Demir Doppelganger here from Ravnica. This foils up 37.84% from $5.84 to $8.05 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.25. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards would be most surprised to see on the list, and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday so I will be back on Monday for my regular Market Mover series. However, I'll also be back tomorrow for the week's winner's edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.